Our last inside the Milky Way object is a magnetar. A magnetar is a spinning neutron star with an intense magnetic field. Magnetic field strength is measured in units called Gauss. A refrigerator magnet is about 50 Gauss. MRIs use up to 70,000 Gauss. A magnetar's field strength is a thousand trillion Gauss, enough to tear atoms apart at a thousand kilometers away. Only around one in ten neutron stars start out as magnetars. We do not yet know what makes their magnetic fields so strong. But it looks like they don't last long. They settle into normal neutron star status after around 10,000 years. On June 22, 2016, an instrument aboard NASA's SWIFT telescope captured the release of a short burst of X-rays from 1E1613, a star in the middle of the supernova remnant RCW103, indicating that it may be a magnetar. Seeking to investigate further, astronomers had the Chandra X-ray Observatory and other telescopes follow up with observations of their own. They confirm that 1E 1613 has the properties of a magnetar, making it the 30th magnetar ever discovered. One of the most fascinating aspects of magnetars is how they can have star quakes, earthquakes, but on stars. When neutron stars form, they can have a crust on the outside surrounding the matter inside. This crust of neutrons can crack, like the tectonic plates on Earth. As this happens, the magnetar releases a blast of radiation, like the solar flare we saw earlier, but millions of times stronger. In fact, in 2004, the most powerful star quake ever recorded came from a magnetar called SGR 1806-20. In a tenth of a second, one of these star quakes released more energy than the sun gives off in 100,000 years. This wasn't a supernova. It was a centimeter-wide crack on the magnetar's surface. The newly launched SWIFT satellite, which was designed and built to detect gamma-ray bursts, not only saw this blast, but was so flooded with energy, its detectors completely saturated. This enormous wave of energy was so powerful, it partially ionized the Earth's upper atmosphere, and it made our magnetic field ring like a bell. And all of this came from an event on the other side of the galaxy. This is an image of the galactic core. The magnetar is located far behind it and cannot be seen because of the density of stars and dust in the core. Compare that to the distance of the Orion molecular cloud complex, 1,500 light years away. It's a little disturbing to find out that a centimeter wide crack in a magnetar's crust can impact our atmosphere from so far away. <laughs>